François Nicolas Vincent, born 1766 or 1767, died March 24, 1794, was the Secretary General of the War Ministry in the First French Republic and a significant figure in the French Revolution. A member of the Cordelier Club, he is best known as a radical sans-culottes leader and prominent member of the Ebertist faction. Topic: <laughs> Leadership The son of a prison concierge and a native Parisian, Vincent worked as a lawyer's clerk and is believed to have lived in substantial poverty until 1792, at which point he became an active participant in the radical revolutionary effort. The youngest of the men to follow Jacques Ebert, Vincent, along with fellow Ebertist Charles-Philippe Ronson, took the revolution to the country, becoming revolutionaries on a mission. Upon his return to Paris, Vincent became more active in the Cordelier Club and was soon elected orator. After this advancement, Vincent was eventually made General Secretary of the War Ministry under Jean-Baptiste Noël Bouchot. It is this job that allowed Vincent to bring more power to the sans-culottes. <laughs> <laughs> Downfall Jacques Ebert, writer and publisher of the La Peur de Chesney, led Vincent, among others, on a campaign against what they deemed the soft moderation of the Committee of Public Safety, along with attempts to aid in the dechristianization of France. Vincent supported the overthrow of Maximilien Robespierre and when he and his fellow Ebertists became active enough in their opposition, Robespierre reacted with an arrest and trial for treasonous activity. The Ebertists, along with some of their close friends and companions, were charged with attempting to overthrow the Committee of Public Safety to ensure the re-establishment of the monarchy and conspiring with foreigners to take down the Republic. No physical evidence was given to support these allegations but, even so, Vincent and his fellow Ebertists were found guilty and sentenced to death. On March 24, 1794, at the age of 27, François-Nicolas Vincent was beheaded at the guillotine along with Ebert, Ronson, Mamoro, and the other leaders of the Ebertist faction. 